So talk to me, because you're actually, what people might not know is you're a bit of a gamer yourself, aren't you? Mm -hmm, a little bit, yeah. A yeah, little bit? Well, I'm not like incredibly good at them is what I would say, but I love yeah. playing them. Yeah. yeah. So did you play Until Dawn before you, um, while you were playing this role? Oh, we got a friend here, everybody. Yeah. Hello, this is Chi. <laughs> Um, he, he's been literally making appearances in every interview I've done this week. <laughs> he's a little bit of a camera slut. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I loved Until Dawn. Yeah. I played it, um, I think probably the year that it came out, not like right when it came out, but I just heard about it in the industry and wanted to check it out and was hooked. Um, I just bought this projector to watch movies on. And so I played it like, I don't know, 12 feet wide on my wall, which is pretty awesome and played it all through in one night and was just like oh my god this is so cool and accidentally killed pretty much every character like killed all my favorite characters by accident kind of like my playthrough of the quarry the first time um but uh yeah and and I was just obsessed with it and it was kind of funny because I was just like man I would kill to do a video game like this is so next level like as a kid I didn't grow up with any consoles or gaming systems or anything like that my my parents weren't super strict or anything like that but they just didn't think that video games were a good way to spend time so I would always go play Mario Kart at my friend's place and stuff <laughs> like that I, I didn't get a ton of hands-on experience which is probably why I'm not that like technically skilled at them yeah um but uh, so, yeah, when I got old enough, I was like, I'm buying my own PlayStation and I'm going to play <laughs> it on a projector on my wall and got until dawn. And um, yeah, I played it again that same week and I just thought it was nuts. It, it actually got me into games, I think, more as an adult, because at that time, I don't think that I bought a lot of other video games. It was probably one of the first. And then it really got me hooked on a lot of different games yeah so that was your first like big foray into gaming as an adult yeah one of them for sure yeah. outside of like mario games <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 so have you played anything else that you can recommend or anything else recently obviously besides the um board. yeah i mean i love all the standard kind of adventure games i love the uncharted's and the last of us i actually haven't played the second one yet which i i, I think Ooh. i have it haven't had time yet yeah um i haven't felt like being super depressed because the games are really heavy <laughs> oh you thought the first one was depressing jeez and, yeah the second one is like a million times worse i've heard and i kind of know some of the things that happen and i'm kind yeah. of dreading playing it yeah um, but i'll love it when i start it uh and um, I really loved Unravel. I don't know if you've ever played. What a that. great game! Little little um, what do you call him? A yarn? Yarny? Yarny? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that game. Yeah. yeah, like the sound, like the score. It's so nostalgic. Mm. Like I don't think I've ever had such evocative nostalgia from any. <laughs> like mm. you, you feel so much, and you're playing as a ball of yarn. Like, come on, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, it is. Um, it is beautiful. I, there was yeah. a sequel as well. I wonder yes. If, yeah. I wonder if they'll go back it. to that. Yeah. 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 It was cute. I don't. I think it was really short. Yeah. It was short. Yeah. 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 The Cinemaniac. Great name. Hi, Siobhan. You are literally the coolest person ever, and I love <laughs> everything about you. Oh my which? God. Gee, I can, settle down, mate. Settle down. What about me? I'm. I'm here. Uh, which scenes in the quarry reminded you of Until Dawn? Oh, good question. Also, I love how you read that. That made it so much better. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, I, should, I should be an actor, you know. You should be an actor, yes. Um, which scenes? A lot of the walking through of the forest, definitely. That was creepy and dark and mm. hard to see what was going on or what was going to jump out at you. Mm -hmm. um, what other scenes? A lot of the stuff in the lodge, I guess, reminded me of Until Dawn, you know. Um, Definitely. It's me too. Like, yeah, big time. Um, it looked like the same lodge, actually. It did look quite similar. <laughs> yeah. There were some sort of similarities, for mm. sure. Uh, <laughs> um, what else? 
some things about the werewolves and how they moved reminded me of how creepy the Wendigos were and just how like off, you know, they're very fast. The werewolves were like the Wendigos on crack. Like the Wendigos, their bodies and how they moved were scary. The werewolves, their bodies were also scary, but their faces were really, really messed up. Um, so those elements were similar for me too. Um, the only difference for me was I had a hard time being scared by stuff in the quarry because I've been a part of it. So until dawn was spookier for me. Yeah. But- Hello, Siobhan. First of all, I love you with all my heart. Second, do you think you will go to any conventions down the road? I'd love to go and meet you. That's from Jen. Aw, first of all, Dan, I love you with all my heart. Oh, Um, thank you so much. I just, I needed that, Siobhan, you know? Good, good. I'm glad. Um, Secondly, Jen, yes, I do hope to do some conventions down the road. Um, that's, That's in the works. So hopefully I will see you there.